Well, I mean, good morning, folks. Um, yeah, as I said, unfortunately, Therese, my colleague, uh, isn't able to make it to Barcelona this weekend, so it's just going to be me discussing um, the project that we work on <coughs> and really how it's been driven entirely by the community that we've been working with. I work on the Citizen Project, which is a coastal and intertidal zone archaeological network, and it's a project, a three-year project that's now just coming to an end, or its first phase is coming to an end. Uh, and the project has really been to try and record and monitor coastal archaeology that's at risk of being eroded and at risk of disappearing. Um, it's, it's, a, it's a national project, so there are three teams working around the country, but the English coastline is rather large, so we've had to think of kind of new and different ways to work with communities to help them achieve what we're trying to do. Um, and one of the communities that I work on uh, is called Mer is on Mersey Island, which is in Essex, and it's kind of it's been a bit of a, a, a journey of the, the community kind of discovering for itself what it wants from the project and how to build it and how to develop and how to work with it. <clears throat> uh, apologies for its slightly messy slide, but this um, it kind of organically sort of shows how the project's developed on the island and it really all began from just a couple of volunteers who called us up and said they found something on their foreshore on the beach and we went to meet them and that's Jim, Mark and Jane on the left. And from that initial meeting, we've actually managed to uh, get in touch with a huge, huge amount of the local community. So it's an island that has about 6,000 people, 6,000 residents on it. Uh, and of those 6,000, we've managed to engage, speak to, interact with, and, and teach and train 628 of them over the course of, uh, it's really been about 18 months that this has worked. And the way that we've done that is really to let them tell each other it's been word of mouth it's been how they've uh, used the existing community links to try and build uh, on what we do and we, we run several sort of events on the island so we take people down to the foreshore and we get them and we show them how to record archaeology using a smartphone app uh, and then they update various bits of information about the archaeology that they find on and around the island um, <clears throat> we've also been running a, a oral histories project um, uh, memory, uh, Mersey Memories Project, sorry, which has been using the local newspaper, local media to try and get people to engage with the project by suggesting archaeology that they might know around their island. And it's been very successful in terms of the amount of archaeology that we've actually discovered. And there's no way that we would have found everything that we had done unless we'd spoken to this number of people. Um, it's kind of we've added over about 75, 80 new archaeological features to a map that otherwise had none on it before. And that's purely down to people, local knowledge, uh, going down to the foreshore with us and telling us where it is. Um, <clears throat> over the kind of 18 month period, you can kind of see the general progression in interest, I suppose, and uh, participation in the project. And we've gone from just quite a small number of people initially uh, right up to just over 180 people towards the end when we've had various experts come in and give talks on the island <coughs> about the archaeology and what people might find. Um, this is kind of a, the typical makeup of one of our volunteer groups when we go out uh, looking on the foreshore and you can see behind them the expanse of Mersey which is a, a, a estuary, it's at the mouth of an estuary so it's a large expanse of mudflats um, which has a lot of archaeology that's now eroding out of it and this is one of the teams that we so we'll go down with and, and train and walk around on the foreshore with. And the people on the left hand or the right hand side of the image, the reason they're looking away is one of the volunteers has just opened a cake tin. So they just, <laughs> <laughs> which is far more important than the girls, but they're just diving in um, and having a mouthful of that. But you can see it's quite a, it's quite a mix of people that we have. We get uh, quite a few young people. We've had people, uh, children as young as nine, come down with us on the foreshore. have been thrilled to have an opportunity to go and investigate what's on the beach, but we also have uh, as you can expect, a, a larger number of older people as well, but it's really an opportunity for them to go out and without excavating, just by going for a walk, they can look into the past and see what's out on the beach. <coughs> um, yes, there's another one of our groups. Uh, again, you can see uh, you and the young gentleman just down at the right, but <coughs> it's always beautifully sunny when we go to Mersey Island. So that's mm -hmm. <coughs> Um, what it has kind of managed to achieve, um, and one of the really nice quotes, which is the one up on the screen here, uh, is that the project has managed to bring the community together in ways that it hadn't necessarily before. Uh, it's <coughs> a lot of people to events to come and uh, listen to speakers and actually to interact with the project, but 
normally wouldn't be part of the, the community as it stands. They <clears throat> don't necessarily come and join in different events on the island, but this has been a new opportunity for them to do so. Uh, and the subject matter has actually been quite interesting to all of the people on the island because a lot of these people have grown up on the island and they've seen the archaeology that's on the beach and they've always kind of wondered, oh, what is this? How can we, <clears throat> how can we get involved? We've managed to provide a, uh, an opportunity for them to engage with that. <clears throat> Sorry, that was short and sweet, but yeah, that's a <laughs> <all> good <laughs>